Bemidji State University's music department will be hosting its first in-person performance since March. That's happening this weekend with limited seating. Reporter Destiny Wiggins was able to talk with the BSU music professor who will be displaying his talents for the audience to enjoy. Dr. Steven Carlson, BSU music professor, has a long history of displaying his musical talents with the world, specifically how his hands move across a piano keyboard. I began studying piano as a typical age beginner. I was in fourth grade, and I'm what I refer to as an accidental musician. My father, who was a veterinarian, was given a piano from one of his clients because his client couldn't fit the piano into his house. So neither my father nor mother were musicians, but all of my siblings and I, I have five siblings, we were required to take piano lessons. So it was just something that was part of my everyday life. And I had no idea that I would be doing this. And Carlson is excited to be able to bring back a back-to-back -back live solo recital, which will be split into two parts. The recitals will be on both Friday and Saturday. It begins with a piece by Beethoven because this is a 20, 250th anniversary of Beethoven's birth. And it's followed up with a piece by the person with whom Beethoven studied composition, Franz Josef Haydn. And the first half concludes with another Austro-Germanic composer, Bela Bartok. Following social distancing guidelines, both recitals will be limited in attendance and attendees are required to wear a mask. Both recitals are free to the public, but pre-registration is required. My job as the executor of the art is to give the audience what the composer intended. So again, a big, <laughs> a steep burden, if you will. <laughs> Carlson also made his New York debut as a solo recitalist in the Wild Recital Hall of Carnegie Hall in 2005. He's also performed across the United States and Eastern Canada. Reporting in Bemidji, Destiny Wiggins, Lakeland News. Carlson has chosen not to wear a mask for this performance due to logistical reasons and the exemption for performers that permits this. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.